Oh, that's the young tails. All right, check this out. Power on. Don't you wish your Windows 10 could boot up this quickly? Okay, well, it's all in. I had a bugger of a job getting that all in there, but yeah. So, let's turn this on. Hopefully I've got the buttons the right way around this time. And let's see if this works. I've also got the graphics card in there now, so... It's come to life. Are we going to get any signs of life from the monitor? Oh, yeah, we got something. We have something. We have Windows 10! Is that really booting already? Alright. Let me just put my password in. If I can remember it. I don't actually remember setting up a password for this thing. It would be easier if you could actually see what you're typing in. Oh, here we go. It's, it is working. Well, it appears that Windows isn't activated. Well, that's just an opportunity for me to do a little experiment. Let's have a look at what Winverse is. Now, remember I installed a classic theme on this, so... Well, it looks like Windows 98, if we bring up a window. It's going to do it, it's still thinking about things. There we are. This is Windows 10. If we go into Winver, I can confirm that. Right, it's still thinking about things. Uh, let's do Run Winver. There we go, we are on Windows 10. Let me just close that. Oh, actually, let's see if the touchscreen works. So I'm just going to touch where it says OK. Does that go? Yep. Might as well close this as well. Right then, so, I've got an idea. Something I've actually wanted to try, and this is a perfect opportunity. Let's just see if we can force change the background. So I've got some pictures here which I transferred over from one of my other computers. Let me find what be a good background picture. I know that. Okay, let's see, um, let's try and do this one. All right, so set as desktop background, let's see if that works. And ta-da! That does work! All right, let's take care of this thing now. Windows isn't activated. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. But I say, why activate when you can hack? So, I'll just call this shutup.bat. And let's run that. Okay, all my DirectX updates here. There it is. Shut up. Let's see if that does anything. Then we just need to restart. Oh, 
I'll be back when this is restarted. Or maybe I'll just leave the camera running. That screen is absolutely filthy. You can see I've been touching it a lot. I like to touch in my screen. Any day now. I know why Windows deactivated itself. Because the hardware changed. Right, let's see if that got rid of the message. And if it didn't, we'll try something else. Yeah. It's gone. Perfect. Even Tails is thankful. Okay, I thought I'd try it out with a few games now. Sonic World, because as you know, I'm Sonic crazy. Well, actually, I'm Tails crazy. Yep, no watermark. That's good. Of course, it's going to be very difficult to play this and shoot at the same time. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I will say one thing for this game. This game runs better on this ancient hardware than it works on my new computer. That's crazy. Oh, would you believe it? The camera's been recording the whole time while I thought it was paused and paused the whole time while I thought it was recording. And... No. Uh, yeah, Sonic, I don't think you're gonna do that somehow. Okay, so here we are installing Windows XP on a Franken PC. Now, this has to be the 32-bit version of Windows XP. I tried installing 64-bit Windows XP and it did work, although for whatever reason it still wanted me to activate even though I put in the product key. And also I couldn't install Adobe Premiere on Windows XP 64 so it has, it has to be Windows XP 32 bits, which is what I'm installing now. Alright, this is Cool Dude Clem with a rather perplexing computer question. Okay, so as you can see I've installed Windows XP on Franken PC here, and it's running absolutely fine. The weird thing is, I just cannot get the touchscreen working. If I touch anywhere on the screen, it just does not respond. It's plugged in and everything. And if we go into the device manager, how far is pointing the camera at it? Um, um, the device manager. We go into human interface devices. And it's this one right here. We go to properties. You can see that Windows XP does recognize it as a touch screen. It just does not respond to it. And I've got it enabled as well. Troubleshoot does absolutely nothing to help. Just brings up this silly help and support center, which is absolutely no help at all. If I plug this into a different USB, I've got it plugged into the USBs at the front here, let's swap it over. Should I say fine, found new hardware, there it is. So, it knows what this is. So, why won't it respond? That's the question. I just have to use my mouse for everything. I don't want to have to install Windows 7 or Windows 10 on this again because, you know, I want to be able to run certain programs that require Windows XP such as Adobe Premiere so why won't this work? I tried f to look for drivers found absolutely no luck I don't think it's a driver issue because it knows what this is so if anybody has any information on how to get this thing working then please tell me because it's the only thing that needs to be done to this now to get the touchscreen working Okay, so I'm just trying out a few games here, seeing how well they work. 
I did not see that coming. It's kind of difficult doing this with one hand on, you know, one hand on the camera and the other hand with the keyboard. This one's a bit of an oddity, actually. If I try to run this on Windows 10 or Windows 7, it does work, but it's painfully slow. Same thing if I try to run this in a virtual machine running Windows XP. But here running natively on Windows XP, as you can see, it's running just fine. I used to play this game a lot when I was younger. Okay, well, that seems to work. So no 2D games work, let's see. Okay, I didn't get out of this. Let's see if 3D games work. Yeah, so I'm installing Ford Racing 2. This old 2007 Lightscribe DVD burner still seems to work. Even though it was in a shed for about four years or so. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try this with everything on high. This should work on Windows XP. I know that on Windows 10 and Windows 7 this game won't even start. And I've also turned the volume down on the monitor because this game is rather loud. So... Right, let's just turn that up. Let's see if it runs. Okay, good so far. I think I turned the sound down just a little too much. I just do not know how to get to the sound on this monitor. I'll turn it up just a little. Okay, this is looking good. Let's just go to quick race. It's going to be difficult holding the camera and doing the game at the same time. The intolerable glare on the screen. Oh, even the sound's working properly. Usually the cars just sound like some weird buzzing, but we've even got proper sound! I hope this is well. I'm going to change the camera view. Display. Uh, oh, it's not going to let me set the controls. You bastard. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to deal with in-car view. That's better, this is... That's better, this is the kind of view I'm used to. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park here. I think there is a Jurassic Park level in this game, actually. Complete with a T-Rex that comes out at you. Or well, maybe that was in Beetle Adventure Racing, I can't remember. Doesn't this place look like Jurassic Park? Or is it just me? Okay, so I know the 3D stuff is working. So the next thing I want to do is I want to try and install Windows 10 on this thing. Well, keeping Windows XP on here as well, because I want to use Windows 10 for doing my flash animation and other things, and that way I'll have the touchscreen functionality, because I have tried to find drivers and whatnot to get the touchscreen working in Windows XP, and I haven't had any luck with it. I needed to scratch my nose. So I just think I'll install Windows 10 on here along with Windows XP. 
I use the Windows XP mainly just for old games and Windows XP, I mean the Windows 10 for the more professional stuff. And that's a win. So I start the camera. Of course I do. All right, you shattered that record. Okay, so I have another hard drive ready to install Windows 10 on. I want to try a little something. Now I have heard that if you have a Windows 7 license key, you can use that to activate Windows 10. So I'm going to put this in and see if it actually works. This has Windows 7 Home on it. Let's see if we can use that on Windows 10. Okay, I'd be very surprised if this actually works. But, let's see. If not, I'll just use it unactivated. I can do that perfectly well. Holy cow, I think it actually worked. I think it accepted that. It's crazy. Let's um let's install Windows. Yeah, I can't believe that actually worked. Alright, so let's get Windows installed. I already wanted to install 1909 on here, but all I could get from Microsoft was 2004, I think. I think it's 2004, the latest Windows. So, that's just what's going to have to go on here. Okay, well, the first part of the install is going without a hitch. It's acting a bit weird here, but I'll just let it go on and do whatever it's doing. And I'll be back when this is... Um, got it smeg together. So, yeah. We have a legal copy of Windows 10, which was installed using a Windows 7 product key. Alright, let's see if we can deep load this without having to download anything first. And yes, to those who know, yes it is going to download something in order to do that, but let's just see if this works. Alright, so I'm gonna go through this, see what I don't need, and I'll be back. Hey, guess what everybody? The camera was recording while I thought it was paused, and paused while I thought it was recording. I, I wish that on this camera, the little light that comes on would blink, or something, to tell me that it's recording. So many times, I press the button, thinking I've stopped the camera, whereas in fact I've started it again. Anyway, yeah, we we'll, might need Net 3.5, so let's get that. Okay, there we go, removed all the bloatware. Cortana, we don't need that. And yes, I think we can stop this. OneDrive, who uses that? Unpin task on the start menu. Well, I'm going to install a better start menu anyway, so it doesn't really matter about that. Uh, oh yes, we definitely want to disable the telemetry. Because it's stupid. Oh. We still got to wait for it to uninstall OneDrive. <laughs> Alright, that's all done. So, let's have a look at what's changed. Everything still seems to be here as I remember it. Do we still have the calculator and everything else? Because those are things I'm going to need. Yeah, we still have the calculator. Do we still have paint? 
And am I ever going to get Angry Birds to work without it saying connection error? Oh, let's see. Paint. Where is Microsoft Paint? Oh, let's see if Paint 3D is there. Yeah, it looks like it is. Not that I'm really going to be using this because I don't know how to use this thing. I have absolutely no idea how to use this thing. I'm just mucking about with it because I really don't know how to use this thing yet. Apparently this is 3D. I have absolutely no idea what the heck I am doing. And I think it's just crashed. Well, I was never going to use this thing anyway. Yeah, I'm clicking the close and nothing's happening. I don't know what this crazy thing is doing. Let's see, where is Paint 3D? Close it. I can't even close it, look. There's nothing to say. Oh, it is. There's end task right there. Why have I got two of these open? And what the hell is taking up 25% of the memory? There is nothing running. See? That's a whole two gigabytes just being taken up by crap. This is another rant about Windows 10. So, yeah, I was about to record something from my desktop and play back the recording with VLC player. Everything's alright. But listen, there's a voice coming from somewhere. We brought right up to the speakers. Were they talking about some old Lady Gaga song anyway? But, like I was saying, where is this coming from? I haven't got anything open. I'm going to close that. It's not that. I haven't got anything playing. So, uh, yeah. What is... What is going on here? Why is my computer talking without anything playing? I don't know and I don't care. How the hell do I shut this thing up? I don't know if this is an ad or something. It sounds like more like a news broadcast or something. I don't know. How do I shut this up? Um, I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. Oh, no, um, I can't even get to the proper, you know, like normal volume mixer settings and maybe be able to find out what's causing this? So, okay, it seems to have stopped. So, no, wait, it started again. Alright. Where is this coming from? I haven't got anything open right now. Joys of Windows 10. I if I just restart, maybe that will shut it up. Hopefully.